My name is Riku Igarashi. I'm 30 years old, and I was riding the bullet train to go back to my parents' house in the countryside for a reason. When suddenly a woman sitting near me called out to me. Wait, isn't that Igarashi? Are you about to go back to the countryside because you couldn't make your dream come true? When I looked up, it was my ex-girlfriend, Miki Ariso. I was dating her when I was a freshman in high school, but I don't have very good memories with her. Uh, I met Miki in high school. She was cute, bright, and energetic, and she talked to me often, so I naturally started liking her. Miki confessed to me in the fall of my freshman year of high school, and we started dating. But after we started dating, Miki started talking a lot about her future and her family. I was told that Miki was the daughter of a famous man, and the daily life she talked about was very different from what I grew up in. Despite that, the time we spent together was fun. Hey, hey, I want to see Riku's house. Why? What? I'm curious to know what kind of house my boyfriend lives. What? My house is shabby, though. Come on now. Show me. I was hesitant to show her the house, but Miki insisted. So I reluctantly took her to the front of the house. Miki had been saying things and acting as if she expected something from me and my parents, but every time that happened, I told her we weren't rich and we were poor. She still thought it was a joke and didn't believe me, but... Well, here it is. What? This is my house. The guys who've known me since elementary and junior high school know just how shabby my house is. It leaks when it rains, wind blows in from the cracks, and some of the flooring on the second floor are about to fall out. And a typhoon might blow the roof off at any moment. What? Here? Yeah, I'm telling you. I've told her a few times that it's a shabby house, but she seemed genuinely surprised to see it for what it was. Miki? Uh... No, sorry, I can't. Let's break up. I didn't expect it to be this shabby. What? That's my line. You're good looking, smart, and athletic, so I thought you'd have a nice house. But I was completely wrong. You're not good enough for me. So, let's break up. It's true, my house is shabby and we're poor, but... I've been telling you that, haven't I? I thought you were being modest or joking. Why would I think you're poor? Who would joke about being poor? Hey, Miki, I'm poor, but someday... Uh, no way, no way. I can't go out with a poor person. Today's our last day. Actually, I'm going right now. Bye. Wait! I couldn't chase after Miki who left without listening to my words. If it was a problem with her personality, I could have stopped her and tried to change her. But I can't, because the reason she dumped me was because I'm poor. I couldn't do anything about it, so I just kept staring at Miki, who got smaller and smaller, and our relationship ended as it was. After that, Miki started making fun of me with her cronies any chance she got. Summer of sophomore year... Igarashi, you seem cool even though it's this hot. Oh, you don't have an air conditioner in your house. So you're used to it, aren't you? Oh, I can't take it. Uh, winter of sophomore year. Oh, Igarashi, do you want my used scarf? You can't afford one, can you? Uh, graduation. Igarashi, you're moving to Tokyo, right? I heard you're going to college, but is your family going to be okay? Aren't they going to go bankrupt? Even if you're smart, it must be hard, so maybe you shouldn't go. Uh... Hey, Riku, come here! Let's take a picture together! Pose like the second Fushi Ranger! Okay, I'll be right there! She kept making fun of me until I graduated, but I ignored it all. After entering college, I earned money for my tuition by working part-time, met new people, and got busy with my studies. All this made me forget about Miki right away, and I was able to graduate from college leading a fulfilling life. Work was going well currently. <laughs> Igarashi, look who's riding the nice train. 
Stop trying to look good just because you're going back to the countryside. Ah, you're Erisosan, right? It's been a while. I'm going to greet my parents with my fiancé. Unlike you, who's going back to the countryside after a setback. See, look! He's a Tokyo University graduate who runs his own company. I... I'm Miki's fiancé, Shin Makabe. Nice to meet you. I'm Riku Garashi, and congratulations on your engagement. I think she looked at me several times after that and said something, but I ignored it all and passed the time. It's kind of depressing, but we go the same direction from the station to my house. On the way to my parents' house, Miki made fun of me just like she did in high school. Ah, oh, I miss this road. Igarashi bought taiyakis for me, and we ate them on the way home. But now that I think about it, we were so poor. Really? I used to shop and eat with one after school, too. Uh. Oh, look, look! Isn't Igarashi's parents' house crazy? It's even shabbier than before. Um, Igarashi-san! You're that Igarashi-san, aren't you? What? I thought you look alike since I saw you on the bullet train. Seeing this house confirms it! Don't you remember? We went to the same college and we were in the same seminar for a time. Hmm? Oh, Makabe? We were in the same seminar in college and I was talking about my parents' house to my friend and showed him a photo and how I wanted to do something about it since it was so shabby. He was in the circle. As I recall, we were having a conversation about how to renovate the house, and Makabe was interested in architecture, so he was making various suggestions. You remembered? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for teaching me all of that back then. They were all very helpful. Really? I'm so glad. Hey, what are you getting all excited about? I mean, do you know him? This poor guy? Miki, you've been making fun of Igarashi-san since a while ago, but what's your problem? Oh, what do you mean? This guy is... Miki, you may not know this, but Igarashi-san graduated at the top of his class from our college. What? He started his own business while he was still in school, and in just three years, he made it into a very well-known company. You know it too, don't you? Miracle Sakafushi? What? That Mirasaka? That's right. I've admired Igarashi-san ever since I was in school. He worked so many part-time jobs that people were concerned about him until he started his own business. But his grades never dropped. He was kind to everyone around him, and people loved him. He always laughed and said that he would work hard to make his parents' life easier because he was poor. Uh. I wanted to be like Igarashi-san, so I started my own business to get as close to him as possible. Uh, I've never heard of that. You were so proud of me earlier, but compared to Igarashi-san's company, my company is really, really small. Uh, really? That's right. Making fun of Igarashi-san is the same as saying you're an idiot. It's embarrassing, so you'd better stop it from now on. Besides, you always had a tendency to look down on people. It was bothering me, but you wouldn't change even if I warned you. I've overlooked it until now, but I can't let it go this time. What? Huh? huh? What? You have to work hard to start your own business? You're still a poor guy! You could only afford to live in this shabby shack of a house! You should be grateful for being able to date someone like me who's clouds above you! Miki... I guess so. I was able to enjoy living in this shabby house. But I guess it's true that you and I live in different worlds. Well, why don't you at least stay here in this shabby house and keep your poor family close? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this old house. What? Huh? You're right, Erisasan. This house has been falling apart for a while now, and it's caused my parents a lot of trouble. Which is why I came here today to discuss rebuilding a new house for their old age. 
I'm sad to say goodbye to the house I grew up in, but... I'm glad I could do this while my parents were still alive and well. Well then, I'm gonna go now. Congratulations again on your engagement. Makabe, I wish you all the best on your path to true happiness. Uh... Who does he think he is? After I left them, I told my parents about the house and they were both happy with tears in their eyes. A year later, I was in a new house that had been successfully completed. A three-story barrier-free house with the furniture in mind. Yeah, it's a good house. Riku. Erisa-san? You came back home too? Uh, I'm living at home now to take care of my parents. Anyway, Riku, why don't we start over? I'll go out with you if you want. What? No way, no way. What happened with Makabe? <laughs> Forget that guy. <laughs> what? Riku? Your mother-in-law wants to see you. What? Who is this woman? My fiance. I'm here today to introduce Sanae to my parents. What? Nice to meet you. I'm Sanae. And this is... Oh, this is my classmate from high school, Mika Eriso. Eriso san, this is my fiance, Sanae. Uh, huh, classmates, nice. I'd love to hear about Riku in high school. Hey, Eriso san, what was Riku like in high school? Sanae, I have the high school yearbook at home, so let's look at it together. I'm sure I'll remember a lot of things while looking at the pictures. Wow, well, I want to see, I want to see. Not just the high school yearbook, but all of your yearbooks. <laughs> I think my mom keeps them all, so let's look at them together. Yeah. Well, goodbye, Erisa-san. Uh, Riku, come on. Yeah, I'm coming. I later heard through a friend that those two broke up the day after they met me, and that Makabe called off the engagement. Sanae and I have been dating since college. I have been working part-time and studying a lot, and she cooked meals for me because she was worried about me. And before I knew it, she took care of everything around me. And it was natural for her to be by my side. She knew I was poor, and she supported me all this time. From now on, I want to make her happy as well as my parents. Still, Erisol remained pompous even after makabe san warned and dumped her. I wonder if she will ever realize her fault. How did you guys enjoy today's story? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.